For the rest of the world, this is the real Super Bowl. The finals of the World Cup, more than a billion people expected to watch today. It's down to the final two. Defending World Cup champs, France, led by Kylian Mbappe, vying to keep their title. Squaring off against Lionel Messi's Argentina. Both teams getting in last-minute practices ahead of the big game. Messi, perhaps the best ever to play the game, saying this tournament will be his last and his only chance to clinch the cup. His entire country behind him as excitement explodes across the world. Argentina to France. An unprecedented tournament filled with highs and lows, but one that was clouded with controversy as Qatar came under international scrutiny for its human rights record. We spoke with the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Linda Thomas-Greenfield. We can influence those countries to make changes, uh, to accept. Uh, people who are different. And you can't do that if you're not talking to them, if you're not engaging. That's what diplomacy is about. The ambassador saying the World Cup has changed Qatar for the better, but there's still more work to be done. What role does sport, soccer play in diplomacy? Despite the fact that our countries are having issues with each other, people continue to engage and sports provides that opportunity. And today, the ambassador joined heads of states from Mexico and Canada to receive the World Cup handover as North America prepares to host the tournament in 2026. Willie? Megan Fitzgerald in Doha, Qatar, ahead of a huge matchup today. Megan, thanks so much. And you can catch the World Cup final this morning on Telemundo and Peacock. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.